Dear colleagues, today I am going to share with you a blended lesson. A blended lesson is a kind of lesson where both online and offline, offline tools are used to conduct the sessions. So I am going to use PowerPoint at first, then later on I will be using Blend, uh, blend space and Zyrtec and I would like to mention here that the blend space is a free tool but with this tool you can design a lesson you can show video you can add picture you can add URL you can design a quiz but multiple choice questions only so in but in Zate, you can design some other tools. But this is not free. But it has different kinds of tasks or activities which can add to the lesson. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate you that lesson. And from now on, I will be talking to my students. Welcome, students. How are you all? Yeah, very good. Okay, students, today we are going to read about the daffodils. This is a poem written by William Wordsworth. Would you like to read the poem? Okay, but before that we are going to do some activities. Now, what can you see in the pictures? Yeah, these are some Bangladeshi flowers. So, you know the Bangla names of these flowers. Do you know the English names? Okay, okay, so you have to work in pair, you have to work in pairs with your partner and you have to write the English names of these flowers. Okay, students, have you done? Have you finished? Okay, now let us check. Look at the first picture. What is that? Uh, you're not sure? Okay, let us check what is its name. This is Ixora. Ixora, yes. And the next one, do you know the name of the next one? Is a common flower? Yes, it is tuberose. Okay. And the next one, it is quite similar to its Bangla name. Yes, Dahlia. Good. Now, yes, yeah, good. You, you did very well. Thank you, students. Now, students, you talk to your partner and talk about your favorite, what your favorite flower is and why do you like that flower. For Talk about for it for two minutes. Yes. Okay, so have you finished? Yes. Now, who would like to volunteer? Who would like to say about his or her favorite flower? Rima? Very good. Good, good. Well done. Thank you. Now, students, we will follow this link. Can you please type this link in your address box? And I'm clicking here. We will go to the website, Blendspace website. Here, there is a lesson, the daffodils. Okay, we will now play it. So, what can you see in the picture? These are the daffodils flowers. Yes, and you know, this is the most favorite flower in England. And that is why many poets have written about that and the poem that we are going to read that was written by what did i say do you remember yes william william watson and he was a poet of nature he used to love the nature he used to see describe the nature so nicely and what was his lifetime 1772 1850 yes now 
let us listen to the poem uh, okay the poor the daffodils by william wordsworth daffodils by william wordsworth i wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er bales and hills when all at once i saw a crowd a host of golden daffodils beside the lake beneath the trees fluttering and dancing in the breeze continuous as the stars that shine and twinkle on the milky way they stretched in never-ending line along the margin of a bay ten thousand saw i at a glance tossing their heads in sprightly dance the waves beside them danced but they outdid the sparkling waves in glee a poet could not but be gay in such a jocund company i gazed and gazed but little thought what wealth the show to me had brought for oft when on my couch i lie in vacant or in pensive mood they flash upon that inward eye which is the bliss of solitude and then my heart with pleasure fills and dances with the daffodils okay now could you find some new words do you know what's the meaning of beneath here there is a bench beneath the tree a bench beneath the tree yes that means beneath means under now what is this there's a mention of this thing in the poem can you guess yes coach c o u c h coach good now what is the lady doing yeah she is looking at the nature yeah she, she likes the nature so now she is in a very pensive mood she is in the pensive mood okay glee the lady is glee people yeah okay now here is the poem now read it and recite it to your partners in pair again work in pairs and recite it to your partners okay now who'd like to recite uh, in front of the class good very good russell very good now there is a quiz okay so which of these words were not used by the poet to describe the daffodils what is the right, right answer yes the cloud very good now let us click here the zate here yeah, we are now going are going to zate session you have to drag and match okay so everybody please drag and match the cloud was floating okay bunches of daffodils the view the sparkling memory of daffodils poet's heart so which one was wealth to the poet okay the view let's see and which one was over the valleys and the hills the cloud was floating good okay the dances what dances with daffodils poet's heart okay which were dancing bunches of daffodils and the sparkling memory of daffodils was a bliss of solitude okay these are your answers so let us check let us submit oh two answers are wrong like the view was a bliss of solitude and then the sparkling memory of daffodils was a wealth so was a wealth to the poet was the memory he will keep it for long and the view was a bliss of solitude and if we submit let us see wow all are right answer very good now let us 
move to the next page okay now students you write the answers of the four answers of the following question in the same box how do you feel about Wordsworth as a poet of nature write about him okay now there is a suggested answer yes you can follow this one now suppose that you are walking through a garden with different flowers in bloom and gentle breeze is blowing there write within five lines how you would feel in that situation okay, write in the boxes and and flip back yeah yes it's a it's feedback for you now here is a song which is written by robert sherrick listen to the song once here and at your home you listen to it again and you will write the answers of the following questions who is the poet had had dressing what is the poem about and how does the poet compare human life with the dressy okay i'm playing the song So, did you like the song, students? Good. So, at your home, please listen to it again. And you have to write the answers to those questions. Okay? Am I clear, students? Okay. Now, this much for today. And see you again tomorrow. Bye.